Ne fais pas des vœux que tu ne vas pas, auxquels tu ne vas pas tenir. He is the only person that got that died because of breaking his covenant with God. Il est l'unique personne qui était morte à, à, à cause du fait qu'il avait violé. Il est l'unique personne qui mourut parce qu'il avait violé l'alliance qu'il avait faite avec Dieu. Take your commitment seriously. Prends tes engagements au sérieux. That covenant was not a joke. Cette alliance-là n'était pas une blague. And if you are a leader and you believe that you can judge other people and then violate what, violate the same things and nothing will happen to you, Let us be a the 37th night of the crusade. Bonatello continued sharing on revivals in the Old Testament, namely the revival under Jehoshaphat. King Jehoshaphat was the son of Asa who succeeded him on the throne of Judah. As a way of reminder, the leader noted that Asa was once confronted with war. But instead of seeking God as he had vowed and led the nation to vow before God, he turned to political alliance. God struck him and he fell sick. Still, he did not seek God but instead turned to a doctor. These human solutions are not bad, but the issue is that Asa did not keep to his vow and God killed him. Do not make vows you will not keep, the leader warned. After Asa's death, Jehoshaphat sought God at a personal level, even beyond his father, and God gave him wealth. Just like his father, when he saw that seeking God peace, he carried all the nation to seek God. Here again, he went beyond what his father did. He appointed 16 Bible teachers, some of his best officials, to go around the nation and teach the people about this God they are to seek. And the Lord moved mightily, and the fear of God came not only on the nation, but also on the surrounding nations, such that they brought him gifts. The revival under Jehoshaphat was not just a revival, but also an awakening, the leader commented. The revival under Jehoshaphat was a teaching revival. He made teaching the most important department of his government. We can emulate Jehoshaphat, Puratiodo emphasized. We can bring God to people and they will be different and we will be a nation that is feared by other nations. We can give God to people instead of using all these tricks to draw people to us, the leader insisted. From this teaching revival of Jehoshaphat, Bonachero led the saints to pray some prayer topics. That God will grant our leaders to be teaching leaders. That we will spread Brother Zach's books in all our ministry as a teaching material for revival so as to produce the needed obedience. Because these books have the power and authority to compel people to obedience. Note that at the beginning of his slot, the leader gave some instructions about the breaking of the fast on Friday and urged the brethren to be watchful and alert during this period immediately after the breaking. Because it is at that time that the devil comes out, as the example of the Lord Jesus teaches us. No king had ever done this. The teaching of the word of God became the most powerful ministry in his government. L'enseignement de la parole de Dieu était devenu le ministère le plus puissant dans son gouvernement. He dedicated to it 16 ministers. Il a consacré à cela 16 ministres. Uh, who followed it in French? Qui a suivi la lecture? de ces hauts officiers.
We can bring our community, we can bring God to the people and it will be far better than all this, this uh, all the tricks that we are trying to make and, and tie people to ourselves. We can give people God. Nope.